Now I would like to introduce Ms. Anusha Dandupani. Ms. Dandupani serves as the Chief Data and Analytics Officer at the United Nations International Computing Center. Ms. Danny Pani will inform us on using data science to tell compelling stories that tackle SDD issues. The discussion will also cover solution-oriented food waste initiatives. Thank you, Najula. I would like to thank the Artemis Foundation. It is an honor for me to be here and happy Women's Day, everybody. I'm Anusha Dandapani. I'm responsible for creating and overseeing the growth of data and analytics services for UNICC. I advise our UN partners and other UN organizations, industry and academia on solving their problems by leveraging artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science uh, offerings and capabilities. In several girls and STEM-based initiatives I've led so far, when young girls were asked to draw a mathematician or a data scientist, girls were twice as likely to draw men as they were draw women, while boys are almost universally drew men uh, often in, in a lab coat. See, in order to foster a growth mindset in girls, it, it starts by emphasizing that the practice is more important rather than um, innate ability to improve the performance only. So in order to validate this hypothesis, um, the hypothesis that the persistent subconscious image of male um, role that starts at the early age may be one of the explanations that we are trying to prove that why girls enter STEM fields like science, technology, engineering and mathematics at the dramatically lower rates than boys. When it comes to teaching or learning STEM, we realize that the format matters, diversity matters, and how to provide young girls an opportunity to drive change by applying data and also give them an opportunity to amplify their voice is one of the tasks that we took upon us. So beginning in early February last year, I, along with 20 data women volunteers, we led a reducing food waste workshop by applying data. And this is a replicable structure of a workshop that we put together in supporting UN Sustainable Development Goal number two, which is zero hunger, good health and well-being. 67 girl students from five New York City middle schools who were also part of the New York City UN uh, Junior Ambassador Program, they came together for a data-driven ideation workshop centered around reducing food waste in New York City public schools. So this was led a woman-led um, data team. Uh, we guided the students to collect data to assess the food waste situation in their own schools. Yeah, And the data points were entered via a survey and it was tailored around each school's lunch menu. And in two weeks, we captured about 14,000 data points that were co collected across five diverse schools within New York City. So this workshop was held last year at the end of two weeks and a team of 20 like-minded data volunteers and data professionals, we came together. And during this workshop, we taught the students how to analyze the data and how to come about with actionable solution. And we had the pitching session where they can pitch this idea to a panel of judges. In this process, what they learned is data-driven analysis and storytelling, which are the essential skills that they need to help uh, build and also help them succeed in an information loaded world like ours. This activity also helped them in charge, helping them realize the critical role that they can play by cap by being the role of catalyst of change. So this proposal, some of the proposals that these students came about with after engaging in a data hands-on um, were overwhelming, encouraging and also humbling. Some of the notable ideas included a Snack It app initiative designed to give discarded food a second life where the student and the government collects and repacks the food at the end of the day, like an unopened hummus pack, for example, as the students can take it as a snack on after school. 
Uh, one of another idea they did come up with is a house point system, which turned by reducing food waste into a team challenge, turning students into a peer pressure on its head. Uh, the students' idea not only showcased how workshops like these can help them redirect how they they deal with the food in their daily lives, but also how can think about big societal problems like food waste and hunger in everyday context. Yeah, as active members of this society with the power to affect the change. Change, our hope is that by combining public and private resources and by equipping the future generation, we can make a significant social impact. And we do believe that project-based learning not only helps the girls consider STEM, but also generally draws more girls to choose STEM careers because it addresses the problems that the young minds see as relevant for them to address. This workshop would not have been possible without our partners, New York City Mayor's Office, New York City Junior Ambassador Program, United Nations, ITU uh, in support of girls in ICT, Barclays, and more importantly, the volunteers who donated their time on a Friday that. afternoon. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Dandapani. So inspiring.